Welcome to Step by Step Farming. Today we're going to talk about the functional testing of your freeze dryer. So before we get started, first let me tell you, I actually cleaned um, the freeze dryer out. And you can go to a YouTube channel called Phil at 4,800 feet. Phil at 4,800 feet, he actually speaks about how to clean out your freeze dryer. So I did exactly that. So I actually wiped the freeze dryer out with 70% alcohol. Um, and I also did the trays and everything. So everything has been cleaned, got uh, a lot of the new smell out, and it actually did work. Um, so next we're going to go into the stage of the functionality of the machine. In this step of the testing, the first thing you're going to need to do is to turn your freeze dryer on and the power source in the back. And you'll reach around the back and you'll flip the switch to on and it'll take a couple of seconds for your display to light up. So don't get upset if your display doesn't start up all at once. So during this functional testing, you're first going to go to the plant at the top. Now you see it says functional testing. This is where you're going to go to make sure that your system is acting correctly. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a freeze test. We're going to make sure that the refrigeration system actually works. And we're going to touch the toggle. Okay, so you should be able to hear that come on. So now we're going to come back when it actually reaches, uh, see the tray temperature is 61 degrees we're going to come back when the, the system itself reaches freezing at 32 degrees and after that we will move to the vacuum pump to make sure that the vacuum pump works properly okay so we're doing the pressure test is, test is what the pump is doing so as you can see right here it says pressure and the m tor uh that's 19220 see it changes as it's going down it's actually sucking it's doing a vacuum inside and taking the air out. So we want it to get down to 500. And that's when we know that the vacuum uh, is doing correct and also is a proper seal on the refrigeration system. So we have just completed our functional test. So we're gonna look at a couple of things. So we see inside of the, the system, it is actually a minus 59 degrees. The tray is actually 17 degrees okay so our, with our vacuum we have actually reached 368 millitar that's what the m-t-o-r-r means so the pressure is great we have reached now we're actually below 500 and you see that it took us 10 minutes to actually reach that so when you're finished with your testing once your freezer is working you under you know that and your vacuum is working properly then you can hit done all right now let me say this during the freezing process you may notice a little drippage down at the bottom just take you a little paper towel or a towel or something and place it right up under where there's going to be some drippage and it'll wind up stopping uh, eventually also uh, your vacuum unit they used to be very loud this one is actually pretty quiet I was concerned about it about it being so loud in the house but it's actually not bad at all but this is your functional testing this is what you need to do when you first get your unit to make sure that you pro have the proper seals and everything to take place to make sure that your unit is running right okay when you get ready to shut your system down from the functional test what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up the valve back here if you notice it's not completely on stop remember stop is straight up and down twist it just a little bit and it's going to start sucking air back into the unit before you open up that door. It probably won't let you open up the door anyway because the vacuum is sucked out. But remember to do that. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is allowing air to go back into the unit itself and then we will be, it will be unpressurized and we will be able to open up the door. If you find this helpful, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and also hit subscribe. Thank you all.